How deep can animals really survive? Well, the deepest that a human's ever gone with a single breath is the world record free dive of 214 meters. And if you add scuba gear, we can barely reach 100 meters deeper. Down here in the mesopelagic zone, AKA the twilight zone, sunlight fades and the pressure can rival the surface of Venus, beyond 1,000 meters in its total darkness. Welcome to the bathypelagic zone, or the midnight zone, where temperatures are near freezing and the pressure more crushing than a great white shark bite. Still, elephant seals dive this deep, sperm whales even deeper. Though it's the Cuvier's beaked whale that earns the record for the deepest diving mammal. See, whales have these clever adaptations, like lungs that collapse under pressure to prevent those gas-filled spaces from bursting. And they have high blood-to-body volume ratios so they can store more oxygen. But creatures that don't breathe air can go even deeper. At 4,000 meters, you reach the abyssal pelagic zone, or the abyss. It's home to animals like tripod fish, some octopuses, and comb jellies. And finally, we reach the deepest part, the hadal pelagic zone. Here, strange snailfish push the limit of how deep a fish can go, about 8,300 meters, thanks to an abundance of these molecules called piezolites that keep the actual proteins in their cells from being ripped apart by the extreme pressure. But snailfish don't get this one off with the title just yet. It's shrimp-like amphipods that absolutely crush record-breaking depths. They're found in Challenger Deep, the deepest point in the Mariana Trench. They coat the surface of their exoskeleton with aluminum gel to help them survive the harsh chemical environment at these depths. And while not a sea creature, this tiny nematode worm was discovered 3,600 meters deep in Earth's crust, living inside rock. Definitely worth an honorable mention.